Now let's take let's let's take anything at all. Let's take a table, right? And let's keep it on, uh, say, one of our uh, somewhere not too not too smooth, not too no, a normal surface. And I want you to do this. Go and push that table, right? So now I'll try doing it. So let's say let's say I push this table, and as I do that, I notice that for a while I'm not able to push it, right? I'm pushing it and it's it's not moving. So what's the first thing I have to think about? So when I do that, I think I'm pushing a table. It's not moving. So there must be somebody on the other side pushing against me, right? So I go, okay, there exists somebody here who does not want me to do this, right? Somebody who's opposing me. So I do that and I go, okay, great. Let me try and do it the other way. So I turn around, I go to the other side, and I start, you know, trying to push it this way. And that person's opposing me that way as well. I come here and try to push it straight. That's that's what's happening. No matter what I do, this whoever is trying to oppose me. I'm beginning to get pissed off with this person because he doesn't want me to go anywhere, right? I try pushing it this way, that way. No matter what I do, he is always trying to. He or she, of course, is always trying to oppose me. Now you know this as well. You would probably experience this for sure. If you haven't, it's about time you do go and push something or pull something and understand it. So I push it, I pull it. Somebody's, but I am not one to give up so easily, and neither are you. So let's try and really give it all we have. And then what happens is that eventually, whoever that is gives up. Right, the force gives up. So there is some force opposing us, but after, not after, not forever. They give up after some after some time. So now that we see this, we've understood something here, right? By playing, we got to know one. If I push a body against another, right, it's on a it's on a floor because if I carry it up in the air and do it, it's not much much lesser. So it's on the floor. I'm trying to push. There is some force, right, that's opposing me, but it can't oppose me forever. So then I do it this way, that way. No matter which direction I do it, it opposes me. So we feel like we're up against something very mean, right? This this person wants to oppose us no matter what, and we also have friends like that, don't we? Like no matter what we say, you know, they want to oppose us. In fact, when I was young, I, my parents just sometimes used to have arguments, and whenever I went and spoke to my mom about it, she always used to like disagree with me. If I say I, I think you shouldn't have said that, you should have been like you know you don't know uh, you know you don't understand this go go and all that. And I used to think, okay, let's try something interesting because she wants to oppose me. Let's see what we can do about it. So I used to go up and I don't know how I figured this out. Just a coincidence. I used to go up to her and say, I can't believe Dad is so mean to you. And she'll be like, Hey, no, you know what? He's actually he was a little busy. I should have been. I was like, Wow. This works. So it's a very interesting idea that humans came up with. Because if you think about it, why do you think the wheel is considered such a big invention, right? Man invented the wheel. Yeah. So why exactly? Because something that's opposing you can be used in a very interesting way. And that's exactly what man learned. Because till then he was pulling a sled around, right? Yeah, it's called a sled. You, it's flat, and you start pulling, putting whatever you want on it, and then start pulling it. Yeah, but after a while, he realized that a wheel could make all the difference. Now, how exactly is a wheel using friction? Is something you'll get a couple of modules later. So, in summary, what we've learned here is one. Most importantly, what Galileo said is that objects will tend to move if nobody stops them, if there is no external force, and therefore, if something is not moving, what will you infer? There is some other external force which we call friction. So, when you try to push a table and it is not moving. We imagine there must be some other force on the other side, right? And we call that force friction, even though we can't see it. We don't see a person. We call that force friction. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.